And God's going to have to get us to a place where we know that we are speaking what needs to happen and we're doing our part as citizens, but we are not doing it from a political realm. We're doing it from a kingdom realm that is anointed and the anointing will break the yoke. And so we're, we will have to come into a place where we see that, and with that, we'll have to know the mind of Christ. I do not know why I gain, I have strange vis visitations when I come to New Jersey. I mean, half of my life has been a strange visitation in New Jersey, like last night. But it said, Chad said, why does this happen to you every time you come up here? I said, I do not know. But all I know is when the anointing, yeah, that's what I said. I said, it's an anointing, and when the anointing leaves, I want to get under the bed somewhere, you know. There is some peculiar anointing in this state that allows us to see the entire nation. I mean, for the Lord to show me in 2008 our nation where it was and then to play it out step, and he showed me that at Liberty Park here, and play it out step by step, even to the point where Donald Trump would become president, but even in that vision where it, that would only last three years. Now, that's, and that's really what happened. There is something that is accessed from this portal called Jersey that is capable to change the entire course of the way this nation operates. Now, and that's why you're being pulled from the other 13 original colonies into this portal so when you're sent out, you are capable of making sure your tent peg is in place for an entire nation. Now, so Elijah, remember, he had to anoint uh, uh, Haziel, who was evil people. God anointed Haziel, who was evil. He had to anoint Jehu, which was one of the biggest. I mean, think about it. He told all of Jezebel's people he had shifted over to Baal worship and got them all to follow him, got them into a place and killed them all. Didn't bother him at all what he had done. God will use people that we wouldn't particularly use. <laughs> and then he anointed Elisha, who had a double portion of Elijah's power, and he was different from Elijah. So, we are headed into a threefold new anointing cord. Now, that's what we want to end up with while we are here in this portal. I think that's why God brought us here, to anoint you new and fresh and for you to take that anointing out and move it in all of your sphere of authority. Now, I want you all to say this. The new is now. <laughs> that means you are stepping into a change realm, a dimension that is putting something totally on you that will make you a better quality than what you have ever been. It's causing you to have ideas that may never have been. And so, it's important because we're living in a new era in a new land. Now, just look around here. This is a new era 
for your particular walk that you have walked with the Lord. And you're in a new land here. And this portal's different from that portal down there because I went down there yesterday. And all, and see, every nation right now, uh, nation, why it's important that we keep looking at nations is because that's God's inheritance in the earth. He says that in Psalms. And so, nations are in the valley of decision. Not all nations will end up being in God's redemptive book. He showed me 153 in the book. Uh, But not all nations will. I can go back and look at uh, Future War of the Church, which was written in 2000, and it said the nation we will have to watch that best represents Antichrist is Afghanistan. And if there's a nation that could be the demise of the United States, it would be Afghanistan. That was in 2000. And I said, how you tell uh, how you're able to discern that is not just by the Spirit. You watch how a nation treats women. And how a nation treats women is how strong Antichrist dw- dwells in that nation. And those is, that's how he will weed out the goat nations. They will treat women very badly. And, uh, and we're a much better nation than what we think here. We, we can find all of our faults, but... We still have a lot going for us. Let's thank God for that.